Hi all and uh, welcome to my second tutorial. Um, recently I've bought a game called uh, Void Expanse. Um, it's on Steam at the moment for about £10. Um, and I decided to actually make a server of it. It's it's only a quick tutorial, hopefully. Um, but I've not seen any others, uh, any tutorials about. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I did it myself and uh, obviously help anyone else out who, who's needing it. In maybe getting confused by it. Um, but the first thing to do is obviously you know download your game. So if you enter your games library and then go to Void Expanse, obviously install it. And then what you want to do is uh, go to the, the the actual folder. So the easiest way I found is just literally right clicking on Void Expanse and putting properties. And then doing the local files tab and then press in browse local files and that'll just open up the uh, actual folder list now um, I'm actually going to be doing it within the this VNC viewer um, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit small um, because I've port forwarded it to my actual server PC rather than my actual main PC so the first thing you need to do is in the void expanse main folder you need to uh, double click on the server.net uh, folder and this will show up this, these few files here now to actually make a dedicated server what you do is you uh, right click on the exe file and then do create shortcut and then if you right click on the shortcut and then put properties you actually need to make this bit into the dedicated so to do that you have to click to the very end put a space and then do hyphen hyphen and then dedicated and then just apply that and press OK and then uh, double click on the shortcut uh, a good way a good thing to do is I usually find it's easier to read uh, is if you right click on the shortcut and then put properties and then just uh, put the width of the actual command prompt a bit bigger so you can actually see what's going on. So what you need to do, uh, because it's your first time doing it, you do uh, new and then just press enter and you'll actually create all the files you need within uh, the, the folder. So just wait till it's finished here. Um, it will do this because I've got some other stuff being sorted out at the moment. So and then just close that and then what you do is if you want to change the port numbers or anything like that because um, what it is at the moment I've got a, a NAS drive which is also running on port 5000 so all you do is if you want to change the port and obviously other settings you just double click on the server settings.xml and it'll bring up this and then what you do is um, you change the port number here yeah, so I changed it to 15521 and then uh, in here as well you also change uh, the the description of the server it's uh, this one here so just put like something like I don't know guild server and then uh, you also want to change the name which so mine will be corruption gaming which is obviously my guild name uh, obviously you can change like if you want to have PvP um, which is that one so you just change to zero if you want PvP uh, if you so if you don't want PvP and if you want the server whitelist is just change that to one and then there's a command in the uh, on the wiki to actually add people to the list which uh, I will put the link in so you can have a look at that. So if you just close that and save it, uh, to actually see any uh, loaded maps, all you do is just go into that folder there, saves multiplayer, and then it will be slot zero, and then obviously slot one, slot two, etc. Uh, now to reload that map back up, if you double click on the shortcut again, and then just expand that. And then to actually load that world back up, you just do load and then the number, which is zero. So load zero. 
and then that will just go off and create the game again. Well, uh, load the game up. Now, the other thing to realize, I'm not sure if this is, you have to do this, but it, it kind of worked for me, was um, this UDP uh, port 4003, um, I also port forwarded that to my computer as well, because it wouldn't find the local host for some reason. Now, okay, so that's running now. Um, it'll come up with some more information as well. So, okay, so if we just cl uh, move this out of the way, and then let's uh, load up the game. So, if I do Void Expanse, okay, so what you do then is you go into multiplayer, and just let the games load and then you click on custom and then what you do is you press the add button so if this is the one that was originally there so if I delete that and you click add and then you if you're running on your own machine you just do localhost with the port number so uh, mine would be 15521 and then you press add uh, but because mine's not actually running on this computer it's running on a network one uh, what you do is you just put the IP address in at 1.101 and then the port number so 15521 and then add um, yeah, sometimes you have to re-edit it because the port number doesn't stay see there you go so uh, yeah so all you do is if it comes up without the port number just just edit it again and then it just uh, it will just pop up uh, now I know there's a few problems with the game at the moment, uh, there's a few bugs and that, um, so I, I think my game will crash. <laughs> so obviously if I just do a random person, create, and then obviously I'm, I'll be in the game if it doesn't crash. <laughs> so. Okay, right, there we go, so we're in the game and that's on my server now. Okay. Alright, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'll put the links in the uh, underneath. So, right, thank you. If you have any uh, questions, just uh, type them in the comments and I'll uh, get back to you. Thank you.